The tenderloin originates from the middle back region of the long loin. The main muscle of the tenderloin is psoas major and depending on the specification has a weight range of 1.5 to 2.5 kilograms or 3 to 6 pounds. Special care must be taken when fabricating this cut as mistakes are costly. Suitable for roasting, grilling and sautéing, no other cut has as many trim specifications as the tenderloin. It is important to familiarize yourself with the variations. Common specs include regular trim, side muscle on, wedge fat in, special trim, side muscle on, wedge fat in, surface fat removed, special trim, side muscle off, wedge fat out, defatted, pismo, peeled of silver skin, side muscle on, wedge fat out, butt tenderloin, the sirloin end of the tenderloin, or the head, with wedge fat out and surface fat removed. Portioning the tenderloin is very labor intensive and, as mentioned earlier, cannot afford mistakes. Before we demonstrate trimming the tenderloin and fabricating both steaks and roasts, let's familiarize ourselves with the different components to the tenderloin. The butt, the tenderloin tip, the side muscle, the wedge or kidney fat, and the silver skin. Depending on the specification you receive, different amounts of trimming will be required. We will be using a regular trim tenderloin. Having removed the kidney and any loose fat from the outside of the tenderloin, remove the side muscle, so as minor, from the tip to the head. You can utilize this muscle for skewers, fondue, or sautés. Next, remove the silver skin by carefully working your knife underneath and cutting in a lifting motion, pulling back on the silver skin. This membrane will not soften to any acceptable measure during cooking. Ensure you work in between the seams at the head of the tenderloin to remove any silver skin. The tenderloin can be roasted whole and carved or cut into its basic components butt tender, Chateaubriand, filet mignon, tornados, tenderloin tips, or staked end to end. Fabricating the tenderloin is fairly complex and small mistakes can be costly. If you intend to portion tenderloin in-house, it is recommended to utilize a steak-ready tenderloin. The cost may be higher, however, we must take into account labor and yield loss.